the things that we can feel very proud about as, as being part of our IT is we have really made a significant contribution to, uh, to the tourism industry and particularly about re recovering in the post-war period. One of the key strategic areas for us and for the Institute, though, is uh, the study abroad. Um, increasing the number of students who will be coming over from the Rochester campus and even for that matter from the Dubai campus, the Kosovo campus, and, and also um, some of our affiliations about increasing the number of students who will be coming in and spending, spending a semester uh, here, here in Dubrovnik or also within Zagreb. to be the, this year's RIT delegate at RIT Convocation and Commencement Ceremony, which has been a great experience. I wasn't even aware how large, how, how, how we are a part of this much, much larger group of students all over the world. And then I liked it so much that I'm even considering the master program at RIT Dubai. Um, I've been working for in the, in the hotel, in the five-star hotel in the old town for the last three or four years so when you get into a hotel you know what to do and I think that RIT HMT or the RIT itself uh, gives you a good picture of what you need to do and how you need to do it. <laughs> I think we really look, need to look at what RIT's true mission is, and that's preparing people for jobs. And jobs today are global. All of our companies are becoming more global. The world is becoming a, an, open, an open page for everyone. And if you look at any industry, you can see that they are increasingly stretching their reach to China, they're stretching their reach to the Middle East, they're stretching their reach to Southeast Asia. And we all need to be part of that if we're going to be preparing our students for the future. I think we have other opportunities to think about RIT as this globally networked campus um, that would have sites in Latin America and, and in, uh, in Asia. But I think probably even more importantly it's about the kinds of experiences that we can provide our students. And uh, what I'm excited about is creating the, the curriculum, creating the, the venues that is going to provide our students, and co-op opportunities, it's going to provide our students these really incredible international experiences. For me, the, the real rich part of this is that some of the best friends that I have live around the world. And uh, I can go, I feel pretty comfortable in saying that there's you know, probably four or five cities outside of the United States where I could go and find a, a good friend that I know. And um, that's really a wonderful part of life. Um, you know, yes, it's great to learn and, and be focused on the educational outcomes, but the friendships you develop by traveling abroad and living abroad and working abroad, um, they are some of the best friends you'll ever make. So I'd encourage everybody to do it because one, it's fun, it's a great way to learn and, and you'll, have, you'll meet some of the best people you'd ever want to meet in your life.